Oh, no! Oh, that might be close. There's misunderstanding. Oh, it must be out. Yes, Matt Sakanyuri was short of the crease. He walks. He knows for certain that uh, uh, he's not made his crease. And uh, this really is disappointing from Zimbabwe's point of view. There was really no run there. Oh, Taylor seemed to call straight away no. And Matsikaniri had decided there was a run in there. Decided to race off down the pitch. Unfortunately for him. Outswinger into the gloves of Sangakara. The first ball, Dilhara Fernandez pitched up. It swung and got the absolute perfect result. Johnny Brown looking to drive. Not getting his foot and gaps everywhere else. Dilhara. Again, he pitches up the appeal. The slips are all over the appeal. And Taibu can't recover today. He's missed the first one out for a globe. Watch him in the spot of other year. Tanuta Taibu playing the wrong line there, just straightening on him a bit. Taylor still there, him into us. Bowl. He's targeting that front pad. It's popped up. It's magnificently good. It's unfortunate for Brendan Taylor, but sensational for Sri Lanka. Vast goes to 298. Well, Brendan Taylor just not getting in line with that ball. Finding the inside edge. Oh, the back of the bat. Well, a bit of a luck in the Sri Lankan side there. An excellent catch there. Oh, and here he goes, here's Chikamura. It's ball and it's ball! Perfectly pitched by Jaminda Vaz. He knew what the batsmen were trying to achieve. And he's good enough to nail them. One to go to 300 wickets in one day internationals. It's a perfect in-swing here from Jaminda Vaz. Now Chikamura playing the wrong line. Leg Gali. Oh, this time he's inside edged it, all right. Not caught at Leg Gully, he's been bowled and 300 wickets in one day internationals for Jaminda Vass. Well, that's the in swinger we've seen today on a number of occasions. And now it's the looking for that booming cover drive, finding the inside edge and the middle. In discipline. And Marlon's first wickets in international cricket, caught by who was that? Dilshan, Tilakaratna Dilshan at backward points. And more trouble for Zimbabwe. Said some of them had perished due to their own indiscipline and poor execution of shots. There's a poor exide and kicks at you. Oh, that's going to be close. It's about time he gave one out. And he has. You can't just throw your foot, your leg down the pitch and try and play around your pad. You've got to get your bat out front. Umpire Harper has been kept very busy. He's turned down a lot of these LBW appeal. That's a neck. Got him. Faviz Maharouf has taken another wicket. That's that little teaser just outside off stump. Threw him into it. And uh, I did put the mockers on him. Caught behind. Undone by the bounce has been given the width. He thought he could drive it. That's off the glove, I think. He's got him. It's another one. That's the end of the uh, end of the innings, and they're all out for 35, the lowest total in international cricket in the history of international cricket. Tinashe Panyangara undone, also by the bounce. Just trying to handle that too. Third man, the ball bouncing and taking the glove, going through to Sanga Karo, who takes another catch. There you go, clearly off with the top hand. A good catch taken by Sanga Karo. And look at the delight on his face. Celebration for the Sri Lankan team. They've dispatched the Zimbabweans and quite easily too. Tinashe Panyangara has gone for zero. And Zimbabwe have been bowled out for 35, which is the lowest total in one-day internationals.